Nobody's saying it. Exactly. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pentagon Press Room. Uh, I'm Colonel Gary Keck. I'm the director of the press office, and Mr. Whitman is unable to be here today, so I will be moderating this <coughs> briefing. Today we have with us from Afghanistan Major General Robert Durbin, commander of the Combined Security Transition Command Afghanistan, and Abdul Hadi Khalid, First Deputy Minister for Security with the Afghan Ministry of Interior. General Durbin and his troops are helping to rebuild and further develop the Afghan security forces. General Durbin and Minister Khalid are speaking with us from Camp Eggers in Kabul. They will both provide opening remarks and then take your questions. Today's briefing is on the record. Please remember to identify yourself when asking questions. State whom you'd like to answer the question between the minister and the General Durbin and wait for translation. The minister does not speak English and we cannot do simultaneous translation, so you will have to wait for the <coughs> translator to translate the question for the minister for him to give the answer and then it be translated back into English for you. So please be patient with us. Uh, just to make sure, General Durbin, can you hear us all right? I hear you fine. Thank you. With that, uh, I'll turn it over to you and the minister for your opening comments. Okay, thank you, Gary. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am Bob Durbin, uh, Commanding General of the Combined Security Transition Command in Afghanistan. And as Gary mentioned, I lead the organization responsible for building the Afghan National Security Forces. Joining me today from the Afghan Ministry of Interior is Minister Khalid, the first Deputy Minister for Security. We will take a few minutes up front to discuss the progress being made by the Afghan National Army and police along with the challenges we face. Then we'd be happy to take any of your questions. The international community in strategic partnership with the government of Afghanistan continues building the Afghan National Army while reforming the Afghan National Police. We are prevailing against the effects of a prolonged war, tribalism, poverty, illiteracy, and the lack of infrastructure, and we're producing an Afghan National Security Force that is competent and capable of defeating a determined insurgency while setting the stage for social and economic progress. Our ultimate goal here is to assist the nation by building Afghan capacity and capability to secure Afghanistan's territory and provide an Afghan shield for the nation's continued development. This transition process will take time, but with steadfast U.S. and international support, it will happen. The Afghan National Army has demonstrated, and the Afghan National Police are beginning to demonstrate, increased self-reliance in planning, preparing, and executing security operations a first step towards transitioning the lead of the Afghan forces throughout their country. The strategic partnership between Afghanistan and the international community requires balance. This balance depends on the international community providing equipment, training support, and facilities. To do their part, Afghanistan must provide well-led manpower in sufficient quantities and quality, and they are doing their share. Focusing on the Afghan National Army for a moment, I can tell you that their soldiers are performing well in combat, fighting side by side with their international partners, and are now leading many operations. These successful operations are instilling more confidence, competence, and professionalism within the ranks of their army daily. But challenges still remain. Together with our Afghan partners, we're assisting the Afghan National Army in overcoming some of its most significant challenges. Improved living conditions, both in the field and in garrison, combined with pay reform and leadership improvements, 
are resulting in better recruiting and lower rates of unauthorized absences. Building competence and professionalism through improved training and leadership development courses will also, pay, will also play a role in maintaining the positive trend of reduced unauthorized absence. Currently 36,000 strong, the ANA is on its way to an end state goal of 70,000 combat and combat support soldiers skilled in counterinsurgency operations. Achieving the right balance is the key to success. Forming an ethnically and geographically balanced force in both the Army and the police is critical to establishing a quality and enduring security force. The United States has been working in partnership with Germany to reform the Afghan National Police. Organized under the Ministry of Interior, the Afghan National Police is a diverse organization both in ethnic composition and mission. I would now like to ask Minister Khalid to provide his perspectives on the Afghan National Police reform. Minister Khalid. Assalamu alaikum wa subh سپاس فراوان از جوان فرد دوربین که فرصت صحبت با شما را با من دارند اسم عبدالحادی خالد هستند معاون امنیتی وزارت امور داخل می باشم Good morning I want to thank General Durbin for this opportunity to talk with you My name is Abdulhadi Khalid and I am the Deputy Minister of the Interior for Security The Afghanistan National Police are under my country command می خواهم به مردم امریکا بگم و مردم امریکا بدانند که مردم افغانستان دوست امریکا است و ما عمیقا از همکاری شما ازار سپاس می نماییم در روش و انکشاف کشور و مبارزه علیه دشمن مشترک که تروریزم از شما با ما همکاری می کنید I want all Americans to know that Afghanistan is a friend to America and we are deeply grateful for your assistance together we are we are partners in developing this country and combating our common enemy terrorists. Madam Afghanistan, Madam Khubian, Moshma Khubi, Madam Ramikhan, Taliban, Wal Qaeda, Dishmanon, Sonha, or Omeshe, Hame Mastan, Axerate, Motlato, Madam Afghanistan, on Hora, Emoya Namikunan, Dolata Afghanistan, on Hora, Emoya Namikunan, Wahargis, Emoya Nahar. The people of Afghanistan are good people and we only want the very best for them. The Taliban and Al-Qaeda do not want peace. They are the enemy of peace and stability. They only wish to spread evil. They only wish to spread evil and hate and repress the people of Afghanistan. The vast majority of Afghan people do not support them. The government does not support them and will never support them. <laughs> خیلی دشوار و مشکل بود. نیم مردم افغانستان نمی توانستند که از خانه برایند که آنها خانم ها بودند. تفنگ و شمشیر بالای کشور ما حکومت می نمود. اطراف ما را تاریکی و شیطنت یاته نموده بود. با وجودی که در حال حاضر زندگی در افغانستان تغییر نموده است ولی به کارهای زیاد در این را ضرورت است. چنان که می بود رون در یک را ساخته نشده بود. در افغانستان نیز چنین است ولی به وقت ضرورت است برای زندگی بهتر راه طولانی در پیش داریم ولی ما با جدیت کار می کنیم تعداد زیاد از مردم افغانستان برای صلح و خوشبختی دیگران زندگی خیش را از دست دادند Life under the Taliban and Al Qaeda was very difficult for us one half of our society could not leave their homes guns and swords ruled out people all around us was darkness and evil. However, today life in Afghanistan has changed, but there is still much work to be done. I'm reminded that Rome was not built in a day, as so it shall for, be for Afghanistan. It will take time. We have a long way to go before we can return to a life of joy. But we are fighting hard for that. Many of my countrymen have died in, the, in this fight so others can have a chance to live in peace and joy. Minister of Commandant and Masul of the entire force of police of Afghanistan, with the support of General Saeed Durbin, I would like to say that the police of Afghanistan has been in a few years in the field of Nile. The trust of the police of Afghanistan has been more than the people of Afghanistan. 
در همکاری و ماهنگی با ایلات متحده امریکا در نیروی پلیس اصلاحات خوبی به میان آمده است و به طور روز افسون انکشاف می کند. ایلات متحده امریکا تعلیم و تربیه را به پیش برده منابع و تجهیزات را برای ما آماده نموده و مردم افغانستان افراد شجای خود را به سفور پلیس می فرستند. در سال گذشته به کمک امریکا و به کار جدی ما انکشافات زیاد در رشد مسلکی مسلکی پولیس تعلیم و تربیه و اداره بیتر به دست آورده ایم. As the commander of all police forces, I would like to echo what General Durbin has said. The Afghan National Police have made a tremendous progress in the past few years. Trust and confidence in the police is ever increasing with the people of Afghanistan. In a strategic partnership and cooperation with the United States, the police are, be are being rebuilt, growing, and improving each day. The U.S. is providing training, equipment, and other resources while Afghanistan is providing quality personnel to fill the ranks. With Americans' help, we have for the past one year worked very hard at developing a professional, well-managed, and trained Afghanistan National Police. دختران و پسران شجای افغانستان مصممن تا سل و امنیت را در کشور خوش خیش تمین نموده و آینده ای سل آمیز و رفا را در کشور خود تضمین نمایند. There are still many challenges ahead, but they are not insurmountable. The brave and honorable men and women of the Afghan National Police are dedicated to the interior security of Afghanistan and ensuring a future of peace and prosperity. در نیروی پلیس ملی افغانستان تاریخچه از فساد اداری وجود دارد ولی ما اینیسیاتیف های را در معرض اجرا قرار دادیم تا فساد را مهار نماییم با دخیل ساختن حیات رهبری وزارت امور داخله در این ایر روشن ساخته که ایشان می تواند فساد را مهار کند و فساد را دفع کند و برای ما سریعت کار افراد شریف و با عزت را در نیروی پلیس به کار گماشتند گماشتند The police have had a history of corruption but we have put in place many initiatives that are helping to eradicate corruption Through various management with the senior leadership the minister of interior has made it very clear corruption will not be tolerated To be effective the, the police must be honorable and respectable اصلاحات در معاش افراد پلیس نه تنها برای این روی کار گردیده است تا افرادی که با جدیت وظایف خطرناک را اجرا می نماید پول بیشتر به دست آورند بلکه سیستم را به میان آورده تا مطمئن گردیم که افراد پلیس تمام معاش خود را تا آخرین افغانی به دست می آورند پی ریفورم هاز لید تو پلیس نات اونلی ریسیوینگ مور پی فور دی هارد اند دنجرس ورک دت دی دو بات آلسو امپلسینگ سیستمز دت انشور دی ریسیو Every dollar that they earn. The Afghan Umur Dakhilin, for this thesis, has been used to make people aware of the dangers of life in their lives, and the police has given them the police has given them the police to do their job. The new law that is based on the basic law of the Afghan law and the law of police has been created. The establishment of an internal affairs department has created a means for citizens to report wrongdoing and a mechanism to hold the police accountable for their actions. The newly draft code, the newly draft code of conduct reinforced the professional, legal, and moral requirements found in the Afghan National Constitution, Penal Code, and Police Regulations. برای جلوگیری بهتر از فساد اداری و کارهای غیر قانونی در مورد سابقه افراد جدیدن جدیدن جز شده معلومات جمعوری میگردن تا افراد با داشتن سابقه جرمی و ارتباط با سازمان های توریستی در نیروی پلیس به طور قطع جذب نگردن To further prevent corruption and other illegal activities new recruits are truly screened for past criminal activity and involvement with insurgent or terrorist organizations. 
امنیت را در کشور تامین نماید نیز چالش بزرگ است که با آن روبرو هستیم در حال حاضر با تعداد بیشتر از 50 هزار افراد تعلیم دیده و تعداد بیشتر از 50 هزار افراد تعلیم دیده و تجهیز شده در نیروی پلیس ملی افغان افغان تنظیم است برای مطمئن شدن از اینکه نیروهای پلیس تا سطح ولسوالی ها وجود داشته باشد این تعداد باید به شمار 2000 برسد برای برطرف نمودن این معضله وزارت امور داخلی در این اواخر نیروهای پلیس ملی کمکی را ایجاد نموده است با سپر نمودن دوره معین تعلیم و تربیت این افراد به نیروهای ملی کمکی جذب و ایشان در مناطق خطرناک جنوب و شرق در پستهای امنیتی و دفاع اجرا خواهد کرد Building the force to an adequate level for the security of the country is also a challenge. Right now, the, uh, right now, the Afghan National Police has just over 50,000 trained and equipped police for officers. To ensure we have a police present down to the district level, this number must be 82,000. To help fill this immediate need, the ministry has recently created the Afghan National Auxiliary Police. This temporary stopgap program will provide police officers through an accelerated training program, and they will be utilized at static posts in some of the most important and dangerous regions, especially in the south and east. Niroi police mili Afghanistan bara sirs tashkil niroi ski zarurat amniyati kishwar ra masum enumayar. بر علاوه پلیس یونیفرمدار، پلیس سرحدی، نظم آمه و پلیس کمکی نیز وجود دارد. تناسب درست نیروها تعداد مناسب و درست افراد تعلیم و تربیت شده برای دوام انکشاف نیروی پلیس ضروری می باشد. The Afghan National Police is organizing itself to best suit the security needs of the country. In addition to the uniformed police, there is also the border police, civil order police and the auxiliary police. Having the right balance of a force with the right number of skilled officers is essential to an enduring police forces. We are also in the United States of America to make the United States of America and the United States of America. We must be aware of the United States of America from different countries on the basis of the community and the group of people. Our goal is to make the United States of America in the United States of America و امنیت آمه با اعترام و بکار با مردم بر خورد صورت گیرد. اعترام به حقوق بشر در رأس این کارهای ما قرار دارد. We are also dedicated to building a force that is representative of Afghanistan, ensuring that our officers represent their nation both regionally and ethnically. Our goal is to treat all citizens with respect and dignity while maintaining order and the rule of law. Respect for human rights is a top priority. وزارت امور داخل با دیگر ارگانهای دولتی خواستن اردوی ملی افغانستان از نزدیک کار میکنند. چون از ایجاد اردوی ملی افغانستان چند سال بیشتر سپری سپری میگردد ما از تجارب آنها در انکشاف نیروی پلیس استفاده از آنی خواهیم کرد. خواهیم کرد. خواهیم کرد. با شکل اپراتیفی ما با اردو با سمیمیت کار مینماییم. و موضوعات را جهت تامین امنیت و سل اماهنگ می نماییم. مثال خوب این اماهنگی فعالیت های مشترک بر ضد شوریشیان می باشد. بعد از آن که اردو ساحه را از وجود شوریشیان پاک و مسئول نمود، پلیسی ملی وظیفه تامین امنیت و تنبیخ خانون را به اوده می گیرد. The Ministry of Interior works closely with many agencies in the government, especially with the Ministry of Defense and the Afghan National Army. As the army is a few years ahead of us in progress, we are watching and learning from them as they progress. Operationally, we coordinate and work closely with the army to ensure the safety and security of this nation. A good example of this is how we operate together to fight insurgency. After the army has cleared and secured areas infiltrated by insurgents, the police assume the mission to hold an era and maintain law, order, safety, and security. In Ruz Ruzay, Puras Khatar, Amma, Mashbu, as Chansai, Alis. Bakumaki and Kari Daimi, Mailat Motede, and Bekam, Moti Ruz Fine Shot. Mod Dishmanone, Jedidi Afghanistan, Shikas Fine Dog, Mayak Bori Digar, Mayak Zendegi, Puras Solo Sada, Das Fine Dog. Afghanistan that in 
Today is a time filled with dangers and wonderful opportunities. With our American partners, we will be successful. We will defeat the new enemy. We will once again have peace and joy in our lives. The Afghanistan National Police will help lead this battle. میخوام بگم که پیروزی ما مدیون کمک های به شایبه ایالات متحده امریکا می باشد. از طریق همکاری استراتژیک مردم افغانستان مردان و دختران شجاع را برای اجرای وظایف در نیروی پلیس ملی افغانستان آماده نموده در حالی که ایالات متحده امریکا به نوبه خیر تجهیزات تعلیم و تربیه و منابع دیگر را برای ما آماده می سازند. I would like to say that our success owes a great deal to the support of the United States. Through a strategic partnership, we, the people of Afghanistan, have provided qualified, brave men and women to fill the ranks of the police forces. The United States, in turn, has provided equipment, training, and other resources to ensure our success. <laughs> ابراز شکران نمایم ما گرد هم آماده ایم تا به صورت مشترک در جنگ بر علیه شیطان برزمیم بسیار زیاد تشکر شما I want to close by giving a special thank to all American fathers and mothers who have sent their brave sons and daughters to fight alongside Afghanistan's sons and daughters we are a brotherhood joined in a common battle against evil thank you so much for that with that, I thank you for having us here today. We will, we will now take your questions. Okay, Pauline, go ahead. Jelinek of the Associated Press. Uh, just to sum up the statistics I think you've given us, I want to make sure. Uh, Mr. Minister, you said your goal is 82,000 police and you have 50,000, but General, you <coughs> said your goal is 70, and I don't recall what you said you're at now, and also do you still feel you'll be finished with the 70,000 by mid-2009? Uh, let me clarify the, from my perspective. What I was saying was uh, the Afghan National Army presently has 36,000 and it is growing to 70,000. That will be combined with the Afghan National Police, which is currently at 50,000 and will grow to 82,000. And yes, uh, the program growth has us completing those thresholds or end states by the end of calendar year 2008. Uh, General Andrew Gray from Reuters. I think when you last spoke to the Pentagon Press Corps about six months ago, you said there was a significant problem with equipping the police in particular. Um, can you give us an update on how that is going, um, how close you are to equipping the 50,000 police that you have and, and what equipment you need? We are in the process of uh, catching up uh, for the amount of equipment that we need. The amount of dollars that were made available uh, specifically from the U.S. Congress uh, to meet our needs through the supplemental that we received in August has allowed us to start to acquire a significant amount of equipment in the November time frame, and there will be a significant inflow of equipment between now and May uh, that will catch up with the 50,000 and then as long as we uh, receive the resources requested uh, for the next supplemental, we'll be able to continue to properly equip the police up to the 82,000. So it will take us uh, until about mid-spring to be able to catch up to have all of the 50,000 growing by 2,000 a month uh, properly equipped. On the equipment side as well, and on the Army side, can you give me an idea of what your wish list is? for the kind of equipment, platforms, and resources you need for the uh, counterinsurgency <coughs> effort you have going on? Uh, there's two answers to that. The first one is to ensure that we properly equip uh, against the current needs of the force that's on the ground, 36,000 growing at about 1,500 a month. Uh, those would be your basic uh, infantry, uh, individual, and crew serve weapons 
as well as the mobility platforms and the, uh, the additional equipment. What is required to ensure that we can build this Army 70,000 strong so that they can not just pick up the lead in the counterinsurgency, but also be able to conduct independent operations, meaning that they are untethered from the support that the international community must provide, then we need to provide them with the right enabling capability, such as the aircraft to allow them to be able to conduct CASIVAC medical evacuations, the intelligence capability to provide appropriate targeting, and then the artillery and perhaps some rotary and fixed wing firepower to bring to bear so that the in extremist support, as we call it, that today is provided by the international community for the ANA will be able to be organic uh, or part of the Afghan National Army 70,000 strong that we're building. As a follow-up to that, can you give more specific in terms of numbers that you're looking at for that type of equipment? Uh, I'll, I'll answer it this way. Uh, the focus at this point is in creating uh, six commando battalions that are like the uh, U.S. Ranger battalions. Uh, they will be better equipped, better led, uh, and they will be the, uh, the best force that the ANA has to bring to bear for the counterinsurgency. And then we will size their air, both rotary and fixed wing capability, to provide the tactical mobility for those six battalions and then eventually grow to be able to provide sufficient tactical lift uh, for both commodities and for personnel to be able to conduct an effective counterinsurgency on their own. Thank you. All right, General Durbin, Jeff Shogel, Stars and Stripes. Recently, uh, the aircraft carrier Eisenhower moved away from supporting operations in Afghanistan to go up to Somalia. How does that affect the support that U.S. troops, uh, U.S. forces can give to the Afghan National Army? That's uh, more of a, uh, a question that could better be answered by the operational commanders here. But I would tell you from my uh, understanding and uh, daily interactions with uh, the Afghan National Army fighting side by side uh, with our uh, coalition forces that there has not been a degradation in the required air support and there's been no degradation to the operational pace under which we're operating. General Gordon Lubold at uh, Military Times. Um, there's a sense that the uh, police and army in Afghanistan have come along a little bit better, say, than they have in Iraq. And I'm not going to ask you to comment about that, but if you could are there some lessons learned, learned or some things that you've done there that translate well that you have conveyed to uh, your counterparts in Iraq, things that, that are working well that, that you've tried to get them to see? I'll, I'll give you a short answer and then I would uh, ask the minister to provide his perspective. Um, my counterpart in Iraq, who is now in charge of uh, developing the Afghan, na the Iraqi National Police, uh, is a superb professional that I have a tremendous amount of personal and professional respect for. And I've known him for over 36 years and, in fact, was a roommate with him uh, uh, back at West Point. Uh, we share lessons learned uh, both ways, and I think that we have taught each other uh, what works and what doesn't work. Uh, I'd now ask that uh, I ask the minister to tell you what he thinks is most important about uh, the, ensuring that we have the quality of the force that's being reformed in the Afghan National Police. کسایی که اصلاحاتی که صورت گرفته در پلیس در زمینه پلیس تا چه اندازه مفید بوده و منابعش تا چه اندازه طرف از اینا مفید بوده. ما اصلاحات نسخه اصلی ساختن پلیس مسلکی برای افغانستان و تامین امنیت افغانستان می دارم. I can say that the reform was one of the most important steps in Afghanistan and it is the foundation of uh, ANA and ANP in Afghanistan. Uh, 
اگر نمی بود به هیچ وجه ما نمی تانستیم که با مشکلات ما مخابله کنیم Without the help of the U.S. government, uh, we, will, we would not be able to do the reform process and develop and improve this much that today we are. He says that the U.S. government helped us uh, and uh, equipped the ANA and the NP, and we are at the good level, and we could finish the uh, reform process. <laughs> باید مسلکی باشه، باید نمایندگی خوب از مردم کنه و تشخیص باشه و تعلیمات و مهارت های فیلم داشته باشه. The people of Afghanistan like the NP, the police, and they are sending their sons to the police, but we need the equipped and professional police. I would, uh, I would add that the fact that we have an ethnically balanced force, and that is the, the key to success of the Afghan National Army, that's something that we're working to ensure that we can attain and then maintain in the Afghan National Police. Combine that with the fact that there has been a concerted effort uh, to ensure that the vetting process and the vouching system, as the Afghans would refer to it, that a young son or daughter who wishes to join the Afghan National Police or the Army has to have a tribal elder or a bula who will vouch for their uh, integrity and commitment to the government of Afghanistan and the future loyalty that they will show. And they actually sign a, uh, a loyalty oath and they have a senior leader from their village uh, to vouch for them. I think that's one of the key uh, aspects of ensuring the quality and uh, uh, integrity of, uh, of the members of the police force and the army that we have today. Joe. Sure. This is Joe Thabit with the Middle East Broadcasting Network. Uh, could you tell us if the Pakistani government is providing any support uh, in training uh, the Afghani forces? Uh, you're asking if they're providing fund support, funding? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have uh, offers uh, of donations uh, from the Afghan, uh, from the Pakistan government, uh, and we are working that through the system just like all the other donations. Uh, and I will tell you that there are active donations that are uh, working, most of them having to do with providing equipment, uh, some personal equipment and some personal weapons. Uh, there also have been offers to provide assistance with training. Uh, those have not uh, come to fruition yet, and we are working through that. The other thing I would say is that there have been mill-to-mill -mill interaction where we have had units both from Afghanistan and Pakistan who have trained together to ensure that there is a better cooperation and understanding and respect for each other's military. <clears throat> Dennis Ryan, Army Newspaper Pentagram. I want to use, gentlemen. Any uh, progress to report in suppressing the narcotics trade in Afghanistan? I believe that what we will see in the future uh, is better success uh, in attacking uh, what is probably uh, one of the biggest threats uh, in the long-term future uh, of the social and economic development of Afghanistan, and that's to effectively conduct a counter-narcotics uh, program. The Afghan National Police are an integral part of that. They're the government of Afghanistan, legitimate presence at the lowest level, uh, and they can touch every aspect associated with uh, narco-trafficking and the other smuggling activity associated with narcotics. There is a special 2,600-man uh, organization, Counter-Narcotics Police Afghanistan, that is being in, increased in their effectiveness and capability for eradication and interdiction. And I think it would be appropriate for Minister Khalid to add something here since he was a previous commander of uh, the counter-narcotics element uh, within the counter-narcotics police Afghanistan. General Saeb, your opinion about the trade and the trade of the trade in Afghanistan? مواد مخدر یکی از چلنجای بسیار قوی و بالقوه در داخل ملک ماست که متاسفانه 
میراث جنگ است و دولت افغانستان از ابتدای ایجاد خود مبارزه بعد توان خود مبارزه علیه مواد مخدر آغاز کرده یا هی سیز The opium is one of the big problem and challenges in Afghanistan for the people of Afghanistan and for the government. And the government of Afghanistan, the inter Interior Ministry and the ANP tries their best to fight against the, ter uh, the terrorism and against the uh, opium and about the smugglers. Um, از جنگ، فساد، مواد مخدر، تروریسم، گروه‌های بی‌قانونی، فقر، بیچاره‌ای همه اینا با ما میراث مانده، علی همه این مشکلات باید ما بجنگیم و در رابطه با مواد مخدر چون فقر و همه مشکلات اینا یک جا شدن و تروریسم هم مشابه مواد مخدر هستند، جنگ سالا هم مشابه مواد مخدر هستند، برای ما راستی هم ضرورت داریم کوهای خوب داشته باشیم کوهای خوب پلیس در مقابل بازی و هم مردم ما باید مشغولیت سالم داشته باشند و تمام سیستم علیه ایسی خرام بگیرد Don't forget that Afghanistan passed the 25 years of war and we have a lot of problems here like uh, destruction, corruption, uh, illiteracy, terrorism and other things. And the people of Afghanistan tried to fight against all of them. And uh, you know poverty is one of the most important uh, uh, problem in Afghanistan which uh, threat the life of people and the so Afghan society. So the government of Afghanistan committed uh, with the help of uh, people fight against the uh, opium and smuggler. Uh, و ما تقریبا تانستیم که تمام مراکز عمده تولید مواد مخدر را قطع کنیم از بین ببریم برای و اخلال کنیم و تجارتش را بر هم بزنیم مگر بر ازی تلاش بسیار کلان و همه جانبه مشترک ملی ما و جامعه جهانی کنیم The police had a great role and I can say a vital role rule in fighting against the uh, opium and uh, transit of uh, illegal illegal transit of uh, opium and we've removed a lot of main uh, sources of the opium in the country and yeah at past time and now with the help of world community and it is essential the help of world community is essential for us we can fight in future and remove all the sources in afghanistan <laughs> Yeah, this year we have a special plans to fight and remove all the sources in uh, in Afghanistan, the opium, yeah, eradication, the drugs. And um, Minister Khalid, we appreciate you joining us today. We're at the end of our time, and we would invite you to return in the future to give us an update. Uh, would you have any clothing, closing comments you'd like to make? The only thing I'd like to uh, say that al although there are many uh, significant challenges that remain, and we touched on a few, uh, the Afghan National Security Forces continue to show great progress each day. Uh, and as we continue to stand by them through their struggles, we will continue to advance towards becoming uh, effective and respected security forces for their nation. And I think that uh, you could see today that there are some brave uh, <clears throat> leaders of Afghanistan, like the minister uh, here to my left, uh, who are making the difference in ensuring that the quality and quantity of their manpower uh, is sufficient to meet their needs. And just let me close by saying how proud I am of all uh, American and the international partners that I'm privileged to be able to serve with. The American people especially should be proud of the work being done each and every day by the men and women of our armed forces, the Department of State, civil service, and our civilian contractors. 
Minister, any closing comments? Uh, ما افتخار میکنم من از افغان که ملت با سخاوت ایالات متحده آمریکا در پالو ماست و از ایمایتشان برخوردار هستیم و ما باور مرا نسبت با آینده ای کمک ها زیاد می سازه و ما مطمئن هستم که ایالات متحده آمریکا مردم ما را همیشه ایمایت خواهد کرد و چیزی که می خواهیم اینجا از تای دل برای مردم امریکا بگویم که مردم افغانستان مردم قدردان هستند و ملت دوست و همکار خوب برای برای جامعه جهانی و خواستن ایالات متحده خواهد بود. At the end I would like to say that it was a great will for me and uh, that uh, the US government is beside us and helping us at any level and at any situation. And uh, I would like to assure the uh, U.S. government that the people of Afghanistan always like them and are and make them favor. And the government of of, uh, of uh, the U.S. government should stay with the people of Afghanistan and support them and afford them and help them to remove their, their uh, to finish their problems and their challenges in future. Police uh, Afghanistan, ما خیلی تلاش داریم که جور کنیم و ما خیلی امیدوار هستیم جور میشه انشالله افغانستان به کمک شما دوستا سرزمین امن و با صفای خواهد بود We are trying our best with the help of all communities, especially the U.S. government, to establish a powerful ANP in Afghanistan. And the people of Afghanistan, the government of Afghanistan, is pleased to have a good friends like you. Ma که جنرال سید دوربین و دیگه دوستان فالی خود میبینم و همیشه با ما هستن ما چند بار قویم ایشم و ما باور داریم که دشمن های افغانستان بالاخره نابود میشن When I see my friends like General Durbin who is beside me and helping the people of Afghanistan like me my power became more and more I become more powerful and, this, um, and um, I decide in future to help the people of Afghanistan and fight against everything and I'm sure with the help of US government we will defeat the enemies in Afghanistan and the Afghanistan will have a prosperous future and a shining future with the help of US government thank you so much the people of US the people of America, and thank you so much. Thank you again, gentlemen. Thank you, Gary.